So, Ben Iger, welcome to the Shooter's Log. Thank you. Uh, we, Thank are, you. <laughs> we are really happy to have you here. Uh, please introduce yourselves. Yeah, so my name is Ben. I'm a sales manager at Shooters Global, and next to me is Iger. He's a founder and CEO of Shooters Global. Thank you for having us. Thanks for inviting. It's really a pleasure to have such an uh, an uprising firm on our channel. So, um, talk to us about Shooters Global. Where does it come from? Yes. So, we are located in Ukraine, in Zaporizhia, uh, and uh, originally we were just the electronics development company. So, we did software and hardware development, electronics, prototyping. And uh, Igor, he's a, he's a shooter himself. He's a passionate about shooting both firearm and airsoft. And uh, one day, he, he's, he's also an industrial designer. So he, uh, when he started using these timers, the ones that are on the market, he just realized that they are not really easy and not really user friendly. Uh, the interface is quite poor on most of them. Uh, so he just want, thought like, why don't we make our own? Like we have the resources, we have the uh, engineers, electronic, uh, electronic engineers, mechanic engineers, uh, all, all the resources we need to develop our own product. Uh, before, before Shooters Global, we had been working for like eight years uh, developing electronic devices and prototypes for clients all over the world. So we have quite a lot of expertise. So and and th that's how pretty much it all started. Uh, we before before we even entered the market, before we started advertising ourselves and people get to know us, we were developing this timer for three years, and the the timer that. that uh, now we're showing it's not even the, uh, the yeah, yeah it's not even the initial version so i can show you right here this is the the first version we had okay. so you can see it's quite quite different from what you see right now it 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 has yeah this is the current version here is the mil military version uh yeah so as you can see it only has like two buttons and a small screen uh, and it's quite bulky compared to the uh, to the current one. Uh, and uh, to be honest, the people didn't really like this one because it it had only this small screen. It also did connect to the mobile app, but uh, you know the shooters are quite conservative, uh, and uh, it it didn't really hit a lot of effect on the market. So we started redesigning it all from scratch and uh, create this final version. Yeah. Yeah. So this this took us three years to develop after this first prototype. Uh, and uh, we're still improving it. We're still working on it. Uh, our one of the main differences in our timer is that it can be updated over the air. So you can update the firmware with the mobile app. So we still working on the firmware, improving it, adding features. And uh, right now we're working uh, with a lot of military institutions, uh, police departments, uh, special operations instructors uh, on improving the firmware and the usability of the timer. And uh, we still have quite a lot of work uh, but we're, we're moving in the right direction, we think, because we already have quite a lot of orders from military institutions and uh, special operations instructors, and they, they seem to like it. Uh, regarding the, like, the, the manufacturing, like what, why uh, I'm sure more, more, a lot of people who are watching this are wondering when will it finally hit the market. So after these three years of of, of development, uh, we already uh, organized manufacturing for like half a year. So the final prototype was ready in like October 2020. 
and since the time we're working on, on manufacturing? What I can tell you is that uh, we, we, I also have one of your timers here and we tried them out for about three months now, something like that. Mm -hmm. we, we used and abused them and are, and are like brand new. <laughs> and this is something, this is really something uh, because um, everyone knows we are kind of disruptive when when at work on the range. And uh, I, yeah, what, yeah. I can, what I can tell about this timer is that it makes life easier for both for the shooter and for the for the officer. I'm talking uh, obviously about the, um, the sports section of it, um, especially when talking about PCCs, which are one of the nightmares of the range officer around the world. It's, it can be really tough to, to take the, the right time out of a PCC. And we had zero issues with these timers. And it's pretty easy to use, pretty easy to see and let the shooter see their time. It's reliable uh, and it's really, really, really comfortable to use. The magnetic lock, guys, it was just something like genius. <laughs> it was <laughs> Thank you very much. It was really one of the handiest and coolest things ever. Just like the, um, the, the C connect, I don't know if it can be shown, but the, the C connector. I'm going to post an, yeah. a deep review of the timer in the, few, in the next days, but um, these things really, really, really rocks. It also charges wirelessly, so not, not only through USB-C, it also has a wireless charge. Yes, yes, it is, but, um, you know, uh, as feedback, um, with all the, the previous timers, one of the, the, the biggest issues when you lost a cable, or it, get, it gets broken, or you just, lo just lose it, and it's a pain in the ass to find another one. Mm -hmm. uh, I can charge this in my car instead of my phone, so it's really a big deal. Yeah, sorry. I was wondering how how often do you charge your your timers? We collect a lot of feedback right now. So how often do you charge your own? Okay, so I'm I'm turning it on. <laughs> uh, I can tell you that I never charge it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it can be discharged. It can be yeah, discharged. <laughs> Sorry. <goodness. laughs> um, and I can tell you right now, um, I've used it in four matches. I don't know how many trainings. And we still have like 80%, something like that. <laughs> it's really, yeah. really amazing, guys. Really amazing. Um, yeah, we, we originally... I also wanted uh, this magnetic holder to be a better event, but when we started testing, it turned out that it just lasts like a month, and we decided that nobody would need it. <laughs> so it's <laughs> okay. A idea. Okay. Okay. But it was a good idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you, you were you were talking about your firmware and uh, updates, so we can we we can safely say that uh, this time it is. Uh, uh, cry once, buy once. It would be forever. Uh, you, you mean the subscription? Um, no, I mean the um, the timer firmware. Will it oh, be uh, yeah. up in uh, in upload? Can be updated. Yes, of course. the The firmware updates are absolutely free, and uh, we release them quite regularly, uh, like once a month for sure. And uh, we're fixing bugs, improving some in some features, and uh, adding new ones. So anyone who has a smartphone can connect it to to the timer and just update it in just a few clicks. So oh, sure, okay. they are free, and they will not. So, so we will not abandon it. We will be working on it regularly. Okay, that's really cool. The application is download for free and use it uh, to upload the new firmware for free too. So it's 
easy. Yeah, so the app, the basic features are free in the app. Uh, only some of them require subscription. So if you just want to use the timer, you don't need to pay for the app. You can just download it. It will show you your history, your split times. It will uh, connect to the timer also. So any basic features you can do for free. Okay, and in the, um, the premium version, we'll cover the stage design and what else? Yeah, so in the premium version, you get the stage builder challenges, smart dry fire in the app. You can also use the app without the timer. Uh, so you, you, if you don't have the timer, let's say, you can download the app, uh, buy the premium, and use the time. Uh, use use your phone like a timer. So you don't even need to buy a timer for that. Although uh, I should say it, it doesn't replace the timer because the sensor in the timer is completely different from the one in the phone, and uh, it will work with larger calibers uh, way worse than the timer. So we can try play play around with it. Just if if you don't have the timer and you don't know whether you need one, you can just give it a try. It's uh, but it's iOS uh, version of application. Yeah, right now it's only in the iOS. Uh, we're working on Android too. The Android is still in beta uh, because developing on Android is much more complicated <laughs> than yeah. iOS. A lot of difference of a uh, model of iPhones uh, and it's. A lot of bags. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, it works. Android. Yeah, it works well on one phone, and then a the person uh, emails you saying nothing is working, everything is crashing. Although on our end, everything is working fine. So it, it's okay. It's it's a nightmare. But we're working on it, <laughs> and we, yeah, we we hope to polish it by the end of of, of the summer, and uh, also add. The, uh, the stage builder in the Android 2. So it, it, it will have all the features the iOS app has. They are okay. all kind of... uh, Talking about um, apps, uh, I know you uh, got in touch with the guys at Practice Core to link your timer to their app. How is it going? Uh, so we... <laughs> Our main problem uh, with integration with practice core is not even the practice core. It's it's us them, uh, ourselves because we need to send them the timer and we just don't have the timer to send. Them. <laughs> we, yeah, that's. That, that, uh, but we send it to next week. Yeah, we'll send them one next week uh, because every timer we have right now we assemble by hand. And uh, until we receive the housings from our supplier, uh, we cannot produce any new timers. So every timer we have now is either going on uh, marketing or to distributors for test purposes. Uh, that, that's why we just couldn't send them one yet, but we will finally send them one next week. Okay. And, that's, that's really cool. uh, yeah, every, everything is already negotiated. They will integrate it, no problem. They said, just send us the timer, we'll do it. So. We can send the APA uh, to, to them. So yeah, the, API, yeah, yeah. The, the API of the timer is, is already, uh, they, they, they have it already. So it's just a matter of time. OK, OK, that's good. Uh, so um, you were talking about distribution, a lot of shooter, a lot of uh, uh, range officers asked me about uh, your timer and how and when it will be distributed in Italy. Do you have any news? Yes, we, we have uh, already signed the contract with Redpoint. So they will be the exclusive distributor in Italy. Uh, we will have their information on our website as well. So. All people who come to our website uh, will be redirected to Redpoint, and uh, they will be fully responsible for all distribution in Italy. They have already made uh, quite a big order, so I hope everything will go smoothly and uh, it's it's a long-lasting partnership with them. They are nice guys. Yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> um, <laughs> you both, you and Redpoint. Uh, are going to be at our nationals in uh, in June? 
Yes, yes. Like we we really hope so. If COVID brings nothing new, we will be there. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what we all hope. <laughs> we really got tired of this COVID situation that hold us down. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Italian shooters and European shooters can meet you at the Nationals? And yes, we will be there with our stay, uh, stand, so anybody can just come and try, try it out, no problem. Okay, uh, I think you can, oh, you can we'll get a lot of feedbacks. Way. Come again? Yes, sir, we will also be giving timers away uh, at, at the Nationals. So if you want one, just come to us, check it out, and maybe you get a chance to, to win one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so guys, uh, this has been a pleasure. Uh, really can't wait to have you on the range. And yeah. keep, keep talking and keep chatting live in person. And yeah. I really hope you can meet our shooters. I really can't wait to. Yeah, yeah, we too. We too. Okay, guys. Uh, see you soon. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you too. Have a nice day. Have a good day. Bye. Yeah, have a nice day. Bye, guys. Bye.